all the people I met at camp were amazing. All the new faces, they, they came all the way across the continent to come here. For one special reason, is to find people they're relatable to. The great thing about this camp, we make connections among science, art, technology, and humanities. We create wonderful new experiences. Innovation is ideas that we assemble along with other ideas and combine them to create something new. How many of you at your age today believe you can make a difference in your community or the world around you? Raise your hands. So Doctor Who has a concept around space time, right? Travels through space time, right? Time and space is wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff. According to Zeno, does the Achilles ever catch the tortoise? And the answer is, Allison? No, because as soon as he's gotten to where the tortoise was, in that time the tortoise has moved a little bit forward. So now he has to go to where the tortoise is then. And in that time the tortoise has moved forward again. So in theory he will never ever catch up. With because the it's tortoise. infinite, right? It's infinite steps so it can never catch the tortoise, right? Yes. Capture the flag on first evening, Camp Demigod. Everything you do is governed by Newton's three laws. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. That's Newton's third law. And Newton's first law is an object at rest stays at rest until and unless it's acted upon by an unequal and unbalanced force. We're going to learn about how we move our center of mass, how we accelerate through in theatrical combat to demonstrate the effects of gravity. We'll learn that Newton's Law is governed everything we do and our life and in this camp. This is my monster. It's called the Hepturnian. And that's his monster. Okay. And he goes, here's the egg. All the kids here, whether they are artists in terms of performance or budding scientists who learn our digivation sphere of influence concept will be leaders tomorrow. Library. I'm an invention used by the Greek god of war. Right on your cheek. I can be plucked to make Still music there. and protect. Unless it is found, the barriers will drop. Can I see it? Um, points the way to make a journey another day. This little furry thing just is running outside. <laughs> She's coming this way, back into the library. And as a result, a bow may appear along the way past the silvery lining on a tree. Wait, we need to find a tree with the silver With an arrow lining. pointing us the way. So, we need to find the tree with the silver lining, or? An arrow pointing the way. Do you think a bow would just have one arrow? Oh my god! Let's look out and then 
here's a picture of a sign on that plate. Okay, there's a dollar. I won't take that. This is a cat. How is this a koala? Just don't! because nobody here loves Doctor Who, right? Nobody likes Doctor Who, nobody yeah. likes science fiction. Yeah. And this the is... The TARDIS from Doctor Who. Okay. My favorite part was my cabin, because the people were awesome. My favorite part about the camp was the combat, because it was just something that you don't do at a normal camp. And the people here I will always remember, because I haven't met anybody like these people. They're pretty amazing. It's probably the best camp I've ever gone to. About a dream within a dream, but it's about time. So the concept is, when you have a dream, do you ever feel like in your dream, if you get a good night's sleep, that you can go through a period of a day or weeks or months in your dream and then wake up six or seven, eight hours later and feel like you, if you remember parts of your dream, that you've been in this interesting world for perhaps hours, days, or months? 